Hey everybody, so we wanted to share with you guys the press conference for Elijah Wu and there was two arrests made on the mom and the boyfriend. So here is the press conference for you, keeping you guys updated on the Amber Alert. I moved the mic here, just want to make sure I was okay. That's why I asked. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Ben Minert, the Chief of Police with Two Rivers Police Department. I'd like to provide everybody with an update on our efforts to locate a three-year-old uh, missing boy, Elijah View, who's been missing from our community since yesterday morning. Our hearts go out to Elijah's family during this incredibly difficult time. We want to assure them and the public that we are doing everything in our power to bring Elijah home safely. I will not discuss specific strategies um, related to the search for Elijah because I simply don't want to limit the information our community has to offer. Since the moment Elijah was reported missing, our law enforcement from local, state, and federal Agencies, along with dedicated volunteers and community members, have been working tirelessly around the clock to search every inch of our city and beyond into the county. Our search and rescue teams have been combing through our neighborhoods, parks, wooded areas, and they've been following up on all leads and tips from the public. We still have an active Amber Alert. Uh, that Amber Alert for Elijah, um, we are continuing to follow all, every, and all avenues. Elijah is a three-year-old male. He was last seen at approximately 8 a.m. yesterday uh, in the 3800 block of Mishkat Road here in the city of Two Rivers. Elijah is approximately three feet tall, 45 to 55 pounds, with brown eyes and dark blonde hair. He was wearing dark colored sweatpants and shoes with a dinosaur print. I want to take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to everyone who has volunteered their time, resources, and support. Your unwavering commitment to the well being of Elijah and our community is inspiring. We could not do this without you. As we continue our efforts, I want to emphasize the importance of remaining vigilant and proactive. Additionally, I wanna remind everyone to please refrain from spreading rumors and false information. This can hinder our search efforts for Elijah. All official facts and information regarding this search will come from us at the Two Rivers Police Department. Let us focus on our collective energy on supporting one another and bringing Elijah home. If you haven't done so, please, please check your home surveillance and search your personal property, but also be mindful of others' private property. We urge anyone with any information, no matter how insignificant it may seem, please come forward and share that with law enforcement. Immediately, every piece of information could be the key to bringing Elijah home. Anyone with information can call the state tip line. We've provided that number. 844-267-6648 or utilize the P3 Crime Stoppers app. You can choose to remain anonymous. The Two Rivers Police Department will provide updates as more information becomes available. Again, thank you. Uh, thank you once again for your continued support and all the cooperation that we've had during these challenging times. Thank you. Do you have a suspect right now? And where are the mother and father? Sorry, we're not going to take any questions at this time. Thank you. Can you talk a little bit about why?
So they're trying to, you know, keep the investigation as good for this case as possible. And I wanted to put out the fact that missing boy's mother and her live-in boyfriend were arrested. Bew's mother, who may or may not have been listed as the three-year-old's caregiver, was booked into Minnewauk County Jail overnight. The charges against mom, identified as Katrina Bohr, were not immediately clear. Also taken in custody was the mother's live-in boyfriend, Jesse Bang. It also re remained unclear what the charges the man faced. Meanwhile, investigators were seen Wednesday wearing gloves while searching at an apartment complex off Michigan Road, where Elijah was last seen. Elijah is described as being of Hmong and white ethnicity and dark blonde hair and brown eyes. He is about three feet tall, weighs about 45 pounds, and has a birthmark on his left knee. So, police said they have requested assistance from local and federal sources using dogs, drones, and personnel. They are also asking residents to check surveillance cameras for any images of the missing boy, as well as vehicles, outbuildings, and garages. Anyone with a doorbell camera is also asked to check to see if Elijah shows up on the video. During a Wednesday night press conference, two rivers pleased to glide to a Police declined to address speculation if the boy had been taken or how he came to end up missing and what they have, what they think may have happened to the missing boy. Also not clear is how authorities chose to elevate the boy's disappearance to that of an Amber Alert. Questions about View's mother being arrested were refused by police. To date, authorities have not said if the suspect fell play. If you have any information, please call 920-686-7200. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Please hit that like button and share. Let's bring Elijah home. Have a great night. Bye. Send in love and light.